Hey guys, it's me Greg. Hey guys, it's me Greg, and um, I would just like to show you my latest invention. It's not really an invention, let alone a homemade invention that someone already created. Um, it's called a laptop cooler. Of, of course, you guys have heard of them. And um, I was I just made my own this week because the the one that I could get that was really close, and that was the only way way I could possibly get it because I didn't want to drive all the way. 15 miles to get it was $50. I'm not gonna pay $50 when I could pay $25 for a homemade one, not even like 10, including the fan for the computer. Um, or even under $3 if you have an old uh, computer. Here is my homemade um, laptop cooler and. It has some simple components to it, the fan of course, which does actually work. Right. And I'll show you my layout. I cut out, I drew around my um, fan here, and then I use my uh, cutter, uh, carpet cutter to cut it out. And then what I did, I ran the wire over here and I connected it to my USB. When you do this, black to black, red to red, the fan will work when once powered with the USB. And just to show you that my fan isn't working order, I'm gonna plug it in to my computer. Alright. Alright here. Watch the fan, guys. As you can hear it when I put my finger towards it. And I'm stopping it. And it just keeps going off. Um, what you're going to want to do for this is you're going to strip the wires from your USB. And then you're going to strip the wires from your... Uh, fan. Connect red to red. Tape them. Make sure they do not touch. Because if they do touch, it'll cause a short in your computer. And you could probably fry your, um, your home board. Uh, your motherboard, I mean, sorry. Um, and you could also fry your USB, which would be a thousand plus dollars to fix. Because it's the motherboard of this computer. And what you're going to do, you're going to get a binder about one and a half inch to two inches because um, it's easier for a bigger fan like this. You can get a fan from any computer store near you, whether it be any game stores owned by somebody that likes computers or something. <clears throat> I picked this up at my local place, Computech, and it's on my local street where my school is. So I just decided, oh, why don't I just get my parts here for it? Um, it doesn't matter where you get it, as long as it runs to your pers uh, idea of how fast it should go. Usually it should go this fast, how much mine was going. And you're going to wrap it around a few times when you're done making your connections. And then you can control whether it comes out the right or if you want it to come out the left and then once you're done making your connections you just plug it in and it will work that is how to make your USB laptop cooler at home and it, you might not feel a lot of air coming out, but for underneath your laptop, when this is underneath your laptop, it will blow constant air into the vents, straight into the vents. And with that ha when that happens, the fan inside of your laptop will spin, take this air, and it wouldn't have to use the fan as much, which would mean it's a lot cooler. And it's blowing all the hot air out of your laptop and that's what you really want 
for it to happen. Of course. And if you want, you could even decorate this. You could put like red, a strip of red thing on this, a strip of blue over here, a strip of whatever colors you like. And then you could put like some sticker over here if you want. Make sure it's not too heavy, otherwise it'll weigh down the fan. And that's it. This this to the, the total for me was about twelve dollars and fifty five cents. Depends on when you where you can get your computer parts. If you get it out of your computer, this thing, which I really don't mind if you do, but make sure you don't use that computer anymore. Okay. I got this from my local computer store, like I said, and it was twelve dollars. So it was a pretty good deal, deal compared to like wherever else I went. And that's it. That was how to make your own laptop cooler. But make sure before you put this in, make sure that it blows the correct way that you're putting it on the outside. It should blow out of this part right here. And if it doesn't and it blows up here, you're going to have to turn your fan around because you want the air to blow on your laptop. You don't want it to be sucking out of your laptop, otherwise it'll just make your laptop more hot because it will never have air to flow. And that was how to, that's how to make it. Bye. Thanks for watching.